The New York uh, State Health Department uh, put out an alert yesterday, which seems to be getting some traction overnight, uh, about what they're calling a pediatric multi-system inflammatory syndrome potentially associated with COVID-19. They talk about uh, cases of children in the New York City hospitals uh, that have had this inflammatory syndrome that they think may be related to COVID-19, characterized by persistent fever and toxic shock syndrome and abdominal symptoms they say are common. Do you know about this? There's been various um, inflammatory conditions that we're seeing in children. Kawasaki's, um, they, they talked about other kinds of phenomena that look almost like autoimmune phenomena that they believe could be triggered by this virus. So there's been reports in the literature um, of these kinds of conditions. And so, you know, the, there was a notion that this wasn't really affecting kids. It does appear that there are kids being affected by this. We certainly know that there are children who've been hospitalized and have gotten very sick. But now it appears that there's some unusual phenomena that are affecting children, not in high numbers. These still appear to be small reports in the medical literature. Um, but there are some unusual syndromes that children are developing, perhaps as a result of coronavirus. And so, you know, we, we don't understand this virus very well. It's really a remarkable thing after so many months with the virus and so much reporting in the medical literature. We're still learning a lot about it. And I think the incremental information that we're learning uh, leads us to believe that this is a much more fearsome virus than we perceived, perhaps, at various points in terms of what it's doing, its long-term consequences, its ability to infect people, um, you know, how contagious it is.